What's good, everybody? Welcome in. What's up, Trisha? Lily's in the house. Lily Pickles, is that what it says? Okay, Lily, Lily Pickles. I always call you Lil Pickles. <laughs> I don't know. I, you're still Lil Pickles in my eyes. Humphrey, what's up? Uh, Tokyo. Tokyo got first place today, even though everybody else beat him. Tokyo gets first. <clears throat> what's up, Ann? Annie's in the house. Jen's in the house. What's up, everybody? Appreciate you guys hopping in. We've got a pretty decent uh, men's haul. If you guys missed it, Kayla was just live. I'm sure some of you guys are hopping over from her live. She went over most of the women's items, so I'm not going to do that tonight. I am just going to go over the men's stuff. Hello from Texas. What's up, Texas? As you guys can see, I got a little sun yesterday playing basketball. I can't actually take my hat off because look at that. Look at that sunburn. Like that? <laughs> can't take it off. Uh, uh, what... To be really confused, my name is actually Ashley. Lil Lily Pickles, Lily? Is, her name is Ashley. Oh, okay. Well, now I'm going to call you Ashley from now on. Ashley it is. What's good, everybody? Good morning from Tokyo. All right, let's get this centered. Got a pretty good thrift haul today. Uh, lots of good stuff. We did pay up for a lot of our stuff. We actually, I think this is a one of the most expensive thrift, tri thrift trips we've had, but we've, we have like some good, good stuff that we paid up for. So we were okay paying up for it. If you're just hopping in, make sure you hit the follow button top left hand corner. If you missed the live thrift, it is up on YouTube. It would just went up 30 minutes ago. I did the announcement over on Instagram. So as soon as I'm done here, if you guys missed the live thrift, you can head back and watch it. It is up on YouTube. So, um, how much did we spend? Uh, I, the receipts in one of these bags, was it in your bag? I think it's in this one. It's in it this was... one. It was up there. Well, maybe it's in the orange bag. Yeah. Once I once I find the receipt, I'll let you guys know. I think it was eight. Fifty. Eight forty six. Eight forty six is what she said. So. All his finds were planted, just as Tokyo says. All my finds are planted. I don't actually find anything. What's up, thrifty duckies? I guess we'll go over this stuff first since it's already already out. My bad. Brandy, what's up? All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we found a bunch of these today. Um, as soon as I find more, I'll just uh, let you guys know. These are actually not new with tags. Uh, we paid $7.50 for Carhartt jeans. Let me mirror this video really quick. Um, $7.50, so everything but red tags was half off. So green tags, yellow tags, all those tags were half off except for red. Um, these are Carhartt Relax Fit men's jeans. I always pick these up. These are just bread and butter. Whoops. Bread and butter jeans to pick up. Um, these were used. $7.50, I still pay $7.50 for these, but as you'll see in a few minutes, I bought some more. So, you know, had, um, else had a thrift today. Thank you for all the wonderful info. Appreciate it. Yeah, if you guys uh, follow me on um, Facebook, you saw my post I put out today. I kind of I kind of uh, responded to a troll today on uh, Facebook, and it went pretty good. It went pretty good. Uh, Broad Street Gems, what's up? All right, next up, we got another pair of Carhartts, $7.50. These are a pretty good size, size 33, 36. And as you can see, these are brand new with tags. I'm thinking they got a dump of brand new Carhartt stuff at this thrift store because we found a lot of it today. So $7.50 for brand new Carhartts, easy pickup. We might throw like one or two of these on Whatnot for this uh, Saturday's Whatnot um, because these should do pretty good on Whatnot. So we might throw these up. You got some Carhartt new with tag today too, nice. Nice. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> all right. If you caught one of my, um, videos from like a few months ago, um, paid $5 for these. These are J crew jeans, but these are the Kaihara denim J crew jeans. So I do pick these up. Um, these have dropped a little bit in price. So I'm expecting these to go for around 35 bucks, but, um, 35, five and a 35 is pretty good. At what time on Saturday? 9 30. So if you're not on whatnot yet i have a link in my bio go to link tree in my bio you can sign up on whatnot through that link you get 15 dollars to spend for free you can also save my show so our, our show is already pre-scheduled tomorrow i'm going to start adding some stuff in what do you want can i get something to eat yeah go no we don't have any food yeah. we don't we don't feed you children just kidding i shouldn't say that online don't say that <laughs> i'm gonna get banned i'm gonna be banned all right next up we got a pair of ag jeans these are ag prestige jeans um, these are $10. I did pay up for these, but I've been selling these for 45 bucks really fast. And these are the nice stretchy ones too. So, um, 45 bucks is what I expect to sell these for 10 into 45 is completely fine with me. All right. We haven't even like got into the pile. We got so much stuff. Ooh, here's a good one. By the way, if you guys see anything you like on the live, feel free to DM me over on Instagram. I'm K-Way Shop on Instagram. I'm K-Way Shop on all platforms. Um, if you see anything you like, 
DM me. I'm saying that before I show this because I'm pretty sure we might have a couple people that are interested in it. This is a Mickey Ski Lodge. We paid $17.50 for this. It's a wool um, sweater and it's got the uh, uh, Mickey and friends down at the bottom. I think it's Mickey and Goofy, right? Mickey, Goofy, and Donald down at the bottom. It says it's a size small, but this is like one of those oversized size small because I'm a size large. It's more like a medium, I believe. Don't you think? Probably like a medium. Yeah. Yeah, it says size small, but I, I think it's definitely like a little bit bigger. Like a small um, medium. Yeah, really, really nice oh, one. Yeah. Uh, this should sell pretty quick, especially this time of year. We're going to get a list of ASAP unless somebody out there wants it. Um, hit us up on Instagram. That might actually go on Whatnot as well, too. I think that's a good Whatnot piece. Um, did you end up putting back the Carhartt boots? No, I kept the Carhartt boots. I kept them. Appreciate you, Brandy, for the wand. Just threw that up again. The wand. All right, we'll throw something else up now. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's do lightning bolts. I've, I haven't seen this one before. They're adding a whole bunch of new gifts. I like it. Throw me off a little bit. How much did you end up paying? I saw you had a lot of stuff. I'll, I'll get the receipt in a little bit. I think it was, what did you say, $846? Yeah. Like $846, I think, is what we uh, what we uh, paid. These my beer. These are your leggings. Are these worse? Of course they'd be at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> so we got, appreciate Thrifty Duckies. Um, so these were actually a Kayla fine. These were not a Wayne fine. These are a pair of Spanx leggings. See right there, it says Spanx, size XL. Appreciate you, Brandy. Um, easy bread and butter. What do you think these will sell for? Like 30, 35? 35. Yeah, 35, 35 is what we should expect to get for these. These are a size XL, nice stretchy leggings. These sell really quick for us. So appreciate all the gifts coming in. We'll throw that over there in your pile. Mm -hmm. That way I don't get it mixed up. All right. I kind of forgot what I found. Oh, this was in the women's section. All right. This was a pretty good find. Uh, we only paid $5. It says $5. Oh, I was supposed to be on live on YouTube right now too. I completely forgot about YouTube. Sorry, YouTube. I could set it up. Maybe I'll set it up really quick. Um, Eddie Bauer. This is an Eddie Bauer Goose Down Jacket. I guess I won't. Maybe I'll just upload this to YouTube. Um, Eddie Bauer Goose Down Jacket. It is a small size. It's a women's extra small, but it is Goose Down, so we did pick it up. Um, we sell men's Goose Down Jackets. The last one we sold, sold for 50 bucks. So this one will probably go for about the same. Got your box? Awesome. Appreciate you uh, purchasing that. Throw that over in the women's, too. Cause I don't want that to get mixed up in the men's appreciate you uh, purchasing that on whatnot. Remember our next whatnot show is this Saturday at nine 30. So if you're not, uh, if you haven't saved it already, head over to whatnot real quick, hit that save button. So we'll be on there nine 30. All right. Another good find. This is a women's LL bean, but as you can see right there, it says a hundred percent wool and we only paid three bucks for it. It's a nice, like almost like a military pea coat looking uh, jacket. This should do really, really well. Um, I had, I didn't look up comps. I didn't really need to at that price. I mean, three bucks, you can't go wrong at three bucks. So I'm thinking minimum 50 bucks for this plus shipping is I'll probably have to charge shipping on this, but at that price, I mean, it's a, it's an easy, easy pickup. I gotta tell you, um, I got my Harley last week from you from whatnot. They're awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Make sure if you order some stuff off whatnot from us, make sure you rate us on whatnot because we just started on whatnot. We don't have a bunch of ratings. So if you guys could rate uh, rate your purchases, we'd really appreciate it. Do you like whatnot um, more than eBay now? Are the fees less? Fees are less. Do I like it more than eBay? Um, it's a lot to set up. I do like the interaction because I'm able to talk to you guys, but eBay will always be my bread and butter. So what's up, Amy? Amy's in the house. Uh, Bonnie, appreciate the follow, by the way. All right, I forgot some of the stuff we, we bought. Some of the stuff you might see in the uh, Whatnot Show this weekend. Um, we only paid $8 for another Eddie Bauer, but this was in the women's section. This is actually a men's Eddie Bauer, uh, men's size medium, and this one also is Goose Down. So uh, again, the last, uh, I think I have one of these listed in a black colorway for $100, and I already have some action on it. So this one will probably be listed right around the same, 100 bucks, Eddie Bauer, Goose Down. I don't pick up a lot of Eddie Bauer, but the Goose Down jackets and the flannel line jeans are two that I do pick up. So definitely be on the lookout for those. They, they sell really, really well. You love Whatnot just started? I do love Whatnot. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's different. It's a different selling experience. So we're trying to give you guys some steals and deals over there too. Going out of rate, you appreciate you. Thanks so much. Um, okay, but what's the deal on the sweater in the back? Because I was serious. The sweater in the back, I just collect Coogees. I just collect them. So they're all over the place. But yeah, sweater in the back. I'm actually trying to buy another one on eBay right now. It's a really good one too. 
Are you moving things more quicker and saving time pics? Yes, whatnot listing is so much easier than eBay because you just need to snap two pictures and then you talk about it in the live. So there's no reason to leave a description. If there's any stains or anything, you snap a photo of them and right before you sell it, you just say, hey, there's a stain right here. Make sure if you're bidding on it, you know there's a stain, it's super easy. So what is whatnot? It's a selling app. It's like what we're doing right now, but I'm selling through the app. I have a link in my bio. If you haven't signed up yet, you sign up through that link. You get $15 to spend for absolutely free. As long as you sign up through my link, you get 15 bucks. So I'm one of the, I think I'm the only um, TikToker here on um, obviously TikTok that has the $15 code. So if you sign up through my link, you get $15 for free. All right, let's grab some more stuff. Some of this stuff might be Kayla's stuff in here because um, it was like, it was all mixed up. We should really try to separate it. See, this is this is technically a me find, but it is a women's item. Um, and people on whatnot, or not people on whatnot, people in the uh, her live were saying that this was actually a really good pickup. So this is Lafayette 148. We paid 12.50 for this. This is like a suede, like almost like a, I don't know what to call this, like a suede jacket, suede blazer, double button. Um, really, really nice. Um, I looked up comps on these before we bought these and they were all over the place, but a lot of them were like $50 plus. So I decided to pick these up and give them a try. What do you guys think about Lafayette? Let me know in the chat. Right on whatnot. Appreciate you. Thanks so much. Yeah. Saturday at nine 30. If you go to whatnot, you can pre-save the show. So you'll get a notification as soon as I go live. Um, who to watch so many choices. Not, I know there's, there's tons of people live right now. I get it. I get it. I'm going to try and go thrift tomorrow. If it snows, by the way, I'm going to put this live up on YouTube. I was supposed to do a dual live, but I just completely forgot. So if you guys missed this live, you can rewatch it on YouTube. I'll put it up tomorrow morning. So you guys can rewatch it then. Got my package today too. And got you rated. Appreciate you, Trisha. Trisha, I appreciate you as always. Remember, if you spend more than $30 on whatnot, you got your stickers too. So hopefully I remembered to give everybody their stickers. I made sure to like triple check because I'm really bad about doing that. So how do I find you on whatnot? Link in my bio. I'm also just K-Way Shop on whatnot. You just look for my name. Next up, another women's item, but this is another me find because I went through the women's jackets. This is an Athleta. It's, a, uh, it's got a nice like fleece and then a uh, soft shell like quilted on the side and also is quilted uh, soft shell on the back. Really, really nice. Um, we normally get like 35 for these and they sell pretty quick for us. So easy scoop. Same name as here. Yep. Um, there's supposed to be stickers in my box. Trisha, I think I put them in there. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm almost certain I did actually. I'm almost positive I did. All right, next up, another me find. This was in the women's section as well. Um, some of these might be on whatnot. So make sure you head over there this weekend. Um, 750 is what we paid for this. This is a women's North face size medium. This is one of the Denali jackets. It's got the soft shell material quilted all the way, not quilted, um, soft shell. And then the fleece around really, really nice jacket hooded size medium. This one should sell pretty quick. Uh, what'd you say, Amy? Wayne, do the tags on them? Do the tags say men's or women's? Sometimes I'm sure the items are men's or women's. Which tags? The tags on the items. Um, sometimes they miss tag the items. So um, I don't know. <coughs> if you're talking about the tags on the items from the thrift store, don't pay attention to those. Just make sure you're looking at the item because sometimes they mess up. Lafayette is a great boutique. Uh, we have store in Naples. Nice. Okay. We've never picked it up before. There was supposed to be sticker. Oh, I got you. Okay. I'm caught up on chat. All right. Another, this is a Kayla find actually. She found these. These are a pair of women's north face size small just like jogger pants these sell really quick for us as well these are just bread and butter items and we only paid five bucks for these a so really good scoop right there excellent pickup lots of women's stuff today because i i kind of headed over to the women's section because there's a lot of men's resellers there today so as soon as i was done hitting up the men's i was like let's go hang out in the women's for a little bit and we ended up hitting up the jackets we did pretty good so i'm happy about that we still left with a absolutely overflowing cart, even though there was good competition. If there's a lot of competition in your store, always make sure you go to a different section. Just try out a new section that you've never done before, and you'll be surprised. You'll walk out with a couple more items than you thought you would have walked out with. All right, next up, we got another North Face. You guys are going to see a common theme on this live. I picked up a ton of North Face. This uh, we did pay up for, paid 15 bucks, uh, but this is a women's size small like quilted soft shell, really nice North face. I forget what they call these. There's a specific name for these. 
It's escaping me right now, but really, really nice. These go for good money. 50, 60 bucks is what I expect to get for that. How much did you spend? We spent over 800 today. We spent a lot of money, but it's because we got some high-end stuff at the end that you guys didn't see yet. You'll see on this live. One of the high-end items that we paid up for, I'll just show you one of the boots, is these composite toe Carhartt boots. I looked up comps on these and these should go for around 100 bucks. We paid 40 bucks for these, so it should go about 100 bucks plus shipping. Really, really nice boots. So those will stay there because I probably will never list them. You pass on J. Crew. Why? I always pass on J. Crew unless there's something special about it. J. Crew is a mall brand. Mall brands typically don't have great resale value. If you get it from the bins, yes, you can pick it up for a dollar and then resell it for like 20 bucks. But when I'm paying like, you know, uh, eight bucks for an item and I'm going to sell it for 20, I'm not making that much profit. What size are the, uh, the boots? They are a men's size 10. Really good size on these two. Men's size 10. If you're interested in it, um, uh, Dreal Taurus, hit me up on uh, IG. I can sell you at a, a great price. I could probably skip out the shipping on that and just do like a hundred flat. What's up, Sassy? All right, let's open up the next bag. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Yeah, boots are nice. Brand new. Pretty surprising. There's a lot of brand new Attag Carhartt stuff there today. So they must have got like a, a donation or something from like a store that closed down and just a ton of like Carhartt everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, here's another one right here. This is a Kayla Fine. These are women's Carhartts. $7.50, but these are the double knee ones. So they have an extra layer of protection around the knees. Uh, brand new with tags. So really nice, $7.50, double knee Carhartts. I wish they were men's, they'd sell a little bit better, but women's Carhartts still sell, so. Uh, we should try to list five per day on eBay. Um, if I have an item, quantity five. Is that one or five? That's only one listing. If you're just making one listing, that's just one listing. It doesn't count as, as five. Otherwise I would take that, no problem. No problem. At least you tried. All right. So there are some items that you guys didn't see. Appreciate you for the, uh, the lightnings. There are some items that you guys didn't see. Cause I went to the money rack afterwards. I should have went there with you guys on live, but when we got in line, I was like, Hey, let me go check out the money rack. Um, I got these Lululemons. I did pay up for them. These are men's Lululemon and we paid 25 bucks for these, but they are in really good condition. And there's one reason I did decide to pay up for them. It's because of the size. So if you see right there, these are a 38 tall, which is a pretty rare size. Um, bigger sizes do sell better. So I'm thinking I can at least get maybe 60 to 80 bucks for these. Um, I just got to look up size 38 tall and see how many are listed. That's the key. If there's none listed, I'm going to list these super high. I'm list them super high. My furnace went out today. Man, you are just uh, one after another, Sassy. I feel bad for you. I'm sorry, Sassy. Just keep your head up, Sassy. Keep your head up. All right, next up, another um, money rack find. We paid 15 bucks. These are another pair of Lululemon. These are size XL. I don't know if these are men's or women's. I'm thinking they're men's. What do you guys think? Um, these are the older style. I learned today that the hexagon means they're older. And these have the uh, hexagon looking logo. I think these are men's. Men's XL. If they're men's, that's a good sign. These should go for like 50, 60 bucks pretty easily. But yeah, paying 15 bucks for them. We did pay up, but that's completely fine. Yeah. It looks like men's any Harley Felix. We got all the Harley you could ever want. Hold on. I got to check on something. I'm uh okay. Somebody opened a, somebody opened a case on me on eBay. We'll have to check that after the live. All right. Next up, we got another pair of Carhartts, tons of Carhartts today. Like I said, we did pay up for these. I paid full price, 15 bucks but they are brand new with tags, solid black car hearts, easy money, easy, easy money, easy, easy money. They look like Comfru Lululemon. I think they are. They're, uh, they gotta be men's. If they're men's, that's even better. I'm going to try them on. If they fit me, then they would be a, they would be a men's. All right. Another pair. I'm not going to get too into these. Another $15 pair of car hearts, easy bread and butter seller. Probably see uh, one or two of these on whatnot uh, this weekend too. How much for the Carhartts? What size of black heart? Uh, give me one second. They are, one is a size 32 and the other is, hang on, one's a size 32 and the other is a 34. So I have a 32, 36 and a 34, 36, both solid black. So if you're interested in them, hit me up on Instagram. We can set up a good deal. I'll, I'll give you guys a great deal. I'll take them for 15. No, negative. 
Negative. Not working. Um, let's see. This was pretty cool. I found this in the shirt section. I don't know why it was there. Paid six fifty for this. This is a men's marmot sweater. Really nice marmot sweater. Um, these go pretty quick for us. Uh, twenty five to thirty five. So you'll take them both if you want. I paid fifteen for them, so I can't obviously take fifteen for something I paid fifteen for. Um, but I would let those go for. Uh, if you bought both of them, I'd let them go for 35 shipped each. So uh, 70 bucks shipped is what I would take for those. I can't let them go for 15. That would that would make zero sense. Uh, next up, we got a pair of Peter Millars. Peter Millars. What's his name on eBay? My eBay store is linked in my bio. Uh, we paid $4 for these men's Peter Millar pants, like bread and butter sellers right there. Um, these should go for like 35. They should sell pretty quick too. Tokyo. What did Tokyo say? Uh, I need uh, 36, 34, yeah. Almost there. How about uh, 50 shipped? No, I, I can I can do, I can do, uh, no, 50 shipped again, that would be, I paid 30, 30 plus tax, and shipping on that would probably, I'd probably have to put them, priority mail would be like 10 bucks. So I'd make $5 on that, it's not gonna work out. I'd rather just sell them on eBay or throw them up on whatnot. Next up, uh, LL, or Lacoste, I paid $2.50 for this. I did decide to pick it up. It's a little bit of a smaller size, but uh, I mean, Lacoste for $2.50, I'll take it all day. Are you cat sister? I am cat sister. I am. I pass on LL Bean wool plaid pants, $9. LL Bean wool pants actually sell really well. Um, $9 is a little steep, but my last pair of LL Bean pants that were wool, I think sold for like 40 if I can remember correctly. This dude don't quit, I know. Uh, the, the price is firm. I'm already giving you a really great deal. At 70 bucks, free shipping, that's already a really great deal on those. $35 each shipped. That's a really great deal. But you have to hit me up on Instagram. I don't normally do this on live, so if you really want them, my Instagram is linked in my bio. Just feel free to uh, message me on Instagram, and uh, we can work out a deal there. But $70 is going to be the... Uh, Going to be the bottom line price on those, brand new. All right, next up, we got some North Face. I did pay up for these. Um, they are a men's size large, which is a good size. But the reason I paid up for these are these are convertible uh, pants. So are these convertible? Maybe these are. Yeah, they are convertible right here. They're convertible, which means they zip off. You can see the, the liner right on the inside has a zipper on it. Um, I normally get like 45-ish for these. So I don't mind pay paying 15 bucks for these. He'll tell Cosby, Peak said, what's up? I'll let him know. I'll let him know. Dude should be paying you. What's your ass? I know. It's okay. He's just trying to get a deal. He's haggling. He's probably, my guess is that guy's probably from California. If you guys know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. He's probably from California. Everybody from California always lowballs you. <laughs> All right, next up, um, I did pay up for this. Uh, we paid uh, 35 bucks, so it's half off this price. But this is a brand new with tag um, Robert Graham shirt. Um, these normally go for around 60 to 70. Um, this one has a good pattern on it. I'll look up the style and see what other ones are listed. Um, but I expect at least 70 bucks for this, 60 to 70. Probably, probably from California. I'm offended, hi, I'm from Cal, I know. It's everybody, it's just weird. Everybody from California always lowballs you. Everybody in the chat can probably like say this too. It's like. I don't know why we don't we don't charge you guys for your rent there and everything like that. Uh, Six fifty. It's a Peloton. Um, I didn't look up comps on this, but Peloton does really well for me whenever I pick it up. Um, this is just a nice crew neck and it's got Peloton all down the back. Um, I believe it's a men's. Um, it's a men's size XL, so just a really nice one. Um, easy bread and butter item. Uh, we paid six fifty for this, so not too bad. Hey, now I'm for my bad. All the Californians are coming at me now. <laughs> uh, I once looked at a photo of Cali. Yeah, dang it. Sorry, Chris. Sorry, Chris. Next up, we have a North Face. Uh, what size are you? Size XL. Men's size XL. Just a normal fleece North Face. And we only paid $5 for this. Really, really good pickup on this. Perfect size to sell. Nice lightweight. This might actually even be first class because it's super lightweight. Um, I normally sell these for like 25 to 35. So really easy bread and butter pickup. I was born in Cali. I'm offended. That's okay. You can be offended. Everybody in California is always offended about something. 
Next up, we got a pair of Peter Millar shorts. Really nice, perfect time of the year to pick these up. Uh, and we only paid three bucks for these. $3 Peter Millar shorts. You can't beat that. I was just making sure it had the button there for a second. I didn't think it had a button, but there we go. $3 Peter Millar's. Really, really good price to pay on these. I said not defended. Nope, my bad. My bad. A, there's, there's light shining on my phone right now. <laughs> That's my excuse. All right, here's another good pickup. I'm surprised with how good the pants were. The pants were pretty decent today. Um, $6.50 for brand new a tag. Um, Adidas pants. There's the tag right there. These are a size, size 36, 34. Really good size. Nice like army green colorway. Um, these will probably be first class too because they're pretty lightweight. So um, I picked these up from TJ Maxx before and they normally flip, flip for around 35. So North Face for your face. Somebody, somebody has been watching Rally Roots. Grow some. Uh, can we get a forehead? I already, I already revealed it. You guys want to see the forehead burn? I, I was wearing a hat too. So if you look, there's a line right there. I can't take it off. That's why I'm wearing a hat. Otherwise, I would go no hat tonight. But if I go no hat, you guys can see the, the forehead burn. No shame in my game. Next up, we got another North Face. Guys, I found so much North Face today, it's insane. Uh, this is a men's size XL, and we only paid five bucks for it. Just a nice North Face hoodie. Super nice, really good condition. Um, there is a small, like, little fluff mark right there that I'm just now noticing, but it's not actually whole. It's just like a little, little pilling on the front. Really nice. Nice, uh, the kangaroo pouch in the front. These sell like bread and butter. Easy, easy sales. You want it, Trisha? All right, it's yours. Trisha got it. Claimed. Claimed. Trisha, you should have just went to red, white, and blue instead of going to the bins when you were here. You would have found tons of these. All this mount stuff. I know. It's because the store we go to just gets all of this stuff. It's crazy. And none of this would ever sell because it's it's not... I mean, it is cold right now. It probably will only sell for like this week, and then it would go back to not selling again. Another men's size XL. North Face, $6.50. I don't know why this one was $12.99 instead of $9.99, but just a bread and butter North Face fleece. Are polos still sell well in your store? Polos? Polos are going to start moving like hot cake here in a second because uh, golf season is literally right around the corner, so they're going to start flying. I guess it's location, but my red, white, and blue doesn't have all this good stuff. We live in Florida, and we get all of this random stuff, and obviously it's not coming from Florida because... There's no mountains. There's no hiking here. It's only cold for like three days out of the year. So it's coming from somewhere. So I'm surprised that all the other red, white, and blues don't get this stuff. I'm living in the mountains. I don't, I know it's crazy. Chris, don't you, do you have a red, white, and blue near you, Chris? Rand, appreciate the follow. They had North Face for 50 at my Goodwill. That's because you were at Goodwill. You're at the wrong store. Uh, what do you move in um, these North Faces for? I'm paying $6.50 for them. I normally get 25 to 35 for them. So that's pretty good margins on those. We're going to go watch Tropical because he answers my chats. Yeah, it's because Tropical has like four people in there, okay? So he'll definitely answer you back. <laughs> Thoughts on Travis Matthew polos? Pick them up because, again, they're going to start moving here in the next few weeks. Travis Matthew is going to start moving. It's golf season's right around the corner. All right, what do we got next? Um, are these more North Face? These are more North Face. See, I told you guys. North Face is like, that's all I picked up today is practically North Face. Uh, we paid six fifty for these. These are just like casual hiking pants. I wished. Are these? No, they're not. They're not convertible, um, but still good pickup. They got the belt still with them. Really nice. Um, I think the belt doesn't detach, does it? Or does it detach? I don't know. But uh, 35 45 bucks for these. Good size on these. T. Maddie. I love selling. Tra I, I was in somebody else's live earlier, and they skipped to Travis Matthew, and they're like, Travis Matthew doesn't sell for me. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I move Travis Matthew all the time. Is Tropical with this? Uh, I think he might be, yeah. If he is, I'm definitely going there after this live. All right, let me know. Chat, let me know if you think I made a mistake on this one. All right, so I went to the money rack. You guys already saw a couple items from the money rack. And I found this. Burberry Brit. It is 50 bucks is what I spent on it. There it is right there. It's got the hit on the front. Now, the only issue that I found with it that was like keeping me from possibly passing on it does have a small stain right there at the bottom. But the reason I picked it up is because it has a Burberry plaid on the front or on the uh, on the um, elbows, Burberry plaid, and then it has that Burberry logo on the front. So 
I am thinking minimum, this sweater should probably sell. I didn't look up comps. This is just off my head thinking of what Burberry sells for. I know the, the long sleeve with the flip cuffs and this pattern go for a hundred bucks. I'm thinking maybe 125. I am going to try to get that stain out. Um, it also has the Burberry plaid on the inside right there, right next to the tag. So I am thinking at least 125. I paid 50 for it. I know it's legit. Um, I know it's legit, so that's not an issue. Um, I'm just worried about getting that stain out. So yeah, the elbow pads is what's going to sell it. I almost put it back. And then when I put it back, I started to walk away and then I saw the elbow pads. And I'm like, wait a second, that has a Burberry print on it. Anytime it has those Burberry plaid Nova check, you always pick it up. Um, so I did, I took an, a gamble. Worst comes to worst. I sell it for what I paid for. It's 50 bucks. Um, cotton, the stain will pull. Yeah. I think the stain will come out. That's why I figured it doesn't look like it's a deep stain. It's a men's size XL too. So it's a really good size. So if this was a men's small, I might've passed on it. Folex and rinse. Oh wait, Folex and no rinse. What the heck is a Folex? You're talking to somebody that I have no clue. I'm going to use that Fels NAFTA thing that everybody says is really good. We, we used it on a Polo Ralph Lauren shirt and it brought the stain out. So I'm going to use it on that too. Speaking of Polo Ralph Lauren, I just got an offer on a Polo Ralph Lauren item. Material, it's just a cotton material. Um, next up, Tiger Woods Polo. Uh, we paid um, three bucks for it. It's a long sleeve Tiger Woods. It's got the little Tiger Woods emblem right there on the sleeve too. So I like picking up Tiger Woods stuff. It moves really well. And this is a long sleeve, so it should do even better. Um, in the upcoming season, it's still going to be cold in some areas. So people are still going to be looking for long sleeve, especially golfers normally go out and play golf in the morning. So if it's a little chilly out, they're still looking for long sleeves even deep into the summer. So um, yeah, I think that'll do, do pretty good. Uh, what's the name remember? It's called Fels Nafta. Somebody can say it in the chat. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but we used it. It's like a bar of soap and you just like rub it on the item put it in the wash and it like takes the stain right out. So Folex is carpet, upholstery cleaner, spray it on. Okay. So Folex, 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 Folex. I got to remember that. It's like Rolex, but it's Folex. Fels Nafta. There you go. All right. Here's a brand I don't normally pick up. Um, we paid five bucks for it. It is an Under Armour piece. It's a men's size 2XL, really good size. And it's a really good pattern. So it's got this, uh, like mock neck and it's got the uh, camo print going all through it. So I decided to give this one a shot. I don't normally pick up Under Armour, but I think this piece will do pretty good. I'm expecting to sell it somewhere around 25, maybe 35. We only paid five bucks for it. So what size is Tiger Woods? Tiger Woods, I believe is an XL. Hold on. Tiger Woods is an XL. It's a men's size XL. That's nice. Yeah. Anytime Under Armour has like, I know Trisha sold an Under Armour be uh, before before, um, for like a hundred bucks. I think you did Trisha somewhere around there. Anytime you have under armor with that camo print, it normally does pretty good. That camo pattern is mossy oak. It doesn't have mossy oak written on it, but I know what you're talking about. I don't know if it's exactly a mossy oak pattern, but, uh, be careful with Folex, um, uh, took colors off my upholster. Okay. I trust Risner though. She has, a uh, Risner knows her stuff when it comes to cleaning and stitching and all that good stuff. Uh, what is the under armor? The under armor is a two XL, I believe. Hold on. Yeah, Under Armour is a size 2XL. So Flippin' Nurse, if you're interested in it, just hit me up. Hit me up. What do you do for multi-listing? I use a platform called List Perfectly. I have a link in my bio. If you click the link in my bio um, and use code um, KWAYSHOP, you get 30% off your first month. So go use my code, um, List Perfectly. I also have a dem demonstration here on TikTok in one of my videos too. Sorry if I'm stuttering, guys. I'm like super tired. If you couldn't tell already, my eyes are like... I woke up early. I went to sleep late last night and I haven't slept since. So I'm super tired. Yes, for my son. Okay. Hit me up on IG, uh, flip a nurse and I'll get those for you. Next up. I believe these must have been on the money rack. Um, these are a pair of Lululemons. I thought they were fake, but people in my chat were saying this was the 2012 Lululemon logo. Really, really nice. Um, Lululemon piece. I think these are women's. They might actually be men's. I'm not sure. I got to look up comps and see what style these are. Um, but just nice Lululemon um, jogger pants. 1250 is a little bit much for them, but men's or women's in that style will still sell for good money. So um, what point do you enter all this stuff on the spreadsheet? I lack that. I actually don't. I know Chris does. As soon as he comes home, he enters all of this stuff on a spreadsheet. I haven't started doing that yet. I just enter my stuff on my spreadsheet when it sells. Eventually I will add that all on, but I think I'm actually going to pay somebody to do that for me. So I don't have to do it to start out with. Um, but yeah, if what I would suggest is when you thrift, 
If you have Jason's spreadsheet, as soon as you get home, you enter all this stuff in the spreadsheet and then you can copy and paste it over. I don't do that yet. I'm really bad about doing the spreadsheet. So pockets are men's. Okay. I figured it was men's. I figured it was men's. All right. Like I said, there was a bunch of new attack Carhartt there today. Um, here's another example of that. Four bucks for a brand new Atag Carhartt shirt. This one is a good size. It's a size 3XL, really good size. Just a simple long sleeve shirt. Um, 20, 25 bucks is what this, uh, this should sell for. Maybe 25, maybe more than 25 actually uh, for that good size. So Carhartt new Atag, can't pass that up. How do you remember what you paid for the item? You don't. So what I do is when I list the item, we put our buy cost into our custom SKU. So as soon as the item sells, then we move that number over to our spreadsheet. So we always know what we pay for stuff. Um, as soon as this gets listed, this carbon to cobalt, we're gonna put that, this was half off, so this would be $3.21 is what we paid for this. That will go into our eBay listing. And then when it sells, I just read that custom SKU and I put that into my spreadsheet. But uh, carbon to cobalt, I learned about this brand last week. This is a really good one too. It's a 100% um, cotton and it's got this nice weave pattern to it. Um, and we only paid three bucks for this. So I didn't look up comps. I know this is a good brand. Um, somebody in the chat could probably tell me better what this will sell for. I'm pretty sure this is at least a $40 sweater, maybe even more. Carbon to Cobalt is a good brand to look for. We're in the eBay listing. Do you put the bin number? That is in the custom SKU as well. Sold the same one for 50. There we go. That's why I figured. Sold car Carbon to bro Carbon to Brobalt. <laughs> oh man, Carbon to Brobalt. Where do you, Chris, where do you come up with this stuff? Ay, ay, ay. Carbon to Brobalt. How do you organize your receipts? Really good question. I write 2023 on a little baggie. As soon as this one gets full, I get another baggie and I write 2023 on them. I'll have all my receipts right here. See, I got last year's receipts right here. That's the best system you can have right there. Or you just get like a junk drawer and you just throw them all in there. <laughs> That's how I do it. Um, if you don't have a seller, if you don't have a seller's eBay platform, is there still custom SKU field? I think there is. I think everybody gets a custom SKU. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. I've always had a store, so I really don't know. Um, super bro, <laughs> bro organized. <laughs> it's like a college kid's organization skills right there. I like that. Super bro organized. I have all my, uh, I have a box for all my seats. Yeah, box, bag, anything. And just label them and then you got all your seats in one area. Receipts are easy. You can always also get, there's a, there's a like a receipt scanner that you can buy. It scans all your receipts in. I think you can also, there's an app that you can use. I don't know what app it is. Somebody probably in the chat uses it. You can snap all the pictures of receipts and it uploads all that stuff for you too. Um, next up, we have a brand new Atag pair of Carhartts. These are size 32. We paid 750 for them. Um, this is like my, what, fifth or sixth pair from this haul that we got for seven fifty. really good prices on these. So there's an app. Yeah. I don't know what the app is called. What does it cost um, to have a store? It depends on what store subscription you get. Each subscription comes with different amount of listings. So, um, you are like, Chris, are you just like thinking of this stuff as I'm talking? He's like, what can I, what can I use bro in a word here? Let me do it. Let me, you remind me, there's a guy that I used to work with at the post office that would use bro for everything. Just like you did it. I wish I could remember like half the stuff that guy said, cause it was hilarious. Next up another, um, brand new, a tag pair of Carhartts. These are size 38, really good size on these. Um, just a relaxed fit pair of cards. I wish these were double need like the uh, women's pair was, but these will still sell, uh, really, really well. Someone tell me, um, where to turn the custom skew. If you're on your phone, the custom skew should be in the item specifics all the way down at the bottom. Sometimes you have to click extra or click more and it'll be down at the bottom. If you're on your computer, it should be right underneath your title. Got a lot of bro hearts. Yeah, we got a lot of bro hearts. Speaking of brand new with tag items, God, you chat. Uh, we paid 10 bucks. These are brand new with tag Levi's 559. Anytime I find Levi's brand new, I'll pick them up. Remember, you cannot sell Levi's to, I think it's the UK, right? You can't sell uh, Levi's to the UK. You're not allowed to. As soon as you list them, they will get taken down. So make sure you don't list these. I think it's the UK. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but don't list these to the UK. They will get taken down immediately. Somebody has the rights to sell them over there and they don't allow anybody from the United States to flip them over there. So do not list them global shipping because eBay will warn you the first time and then after that, you'll get a bureau. 
So just remember that. Just remember that. Next up, I found this in the men's section. It's a really good brand. It's a women's Frank and Eileen. Um, I think these go for like 40 bucks. I think that's what we sold the last one for. This uh, We paid six bucks for these, or this shirt. So a really nice pattern. Frank and Eileen, good brand to look out for. I think these go for like 35 to 40. But I know this was a pickup as soon as I saw it. So Chris is looking for a bromance. Chris is always looking for a bromance with me. Bro, they're only new attack Levi's. Use this cool, I know. Especially the vintage. Those are cooler. Those are the coolest. All right, here's a not normal K-Way pickup. And I am testing the waters with these. I explained this. I'll give you guys all 259 plus the people that watch this on YouTube because I'm not live on YouTube because I forgot to go live on YouTube. Um, if you guys go to TJ Maxx right now and you try to buy Polo Ralph Lauren at TJ Maxx, even basic Polo Ralph Lauren like this, they're asking $50 a shirt now. These shirts at TJ Maxx used to be 30 bucks. They used to go on clearance and they used to end up at 10 bucks. Now, if these went on deep clearance, they would only end up being about 20 to 25 bucks. And they priced all of their Polo Ralph Lauren up. So therefore, if you find Polo Ralph Lauren that's a good style, like this double-breasted pocket one, pick it up. Because I bet you the market is going to start going up on these because people aren't able to go to a TJ Maxx and buy them cheap anymore. They got to pay $50 for a shirt like this. So I'm testing the market with this. I'm going to see how well it does. I'll let you guys know. Um, but yeah, if, if a store where everybody used to go get a certain brand has skyrocketed in price, the used market should also reflect that as well. So um, just a little tidbit of information. I saw that the other day and I was like, man, I should probably start picking up Polo Ralph Lauren. So bread and butter. Yeah, and that one was a good one because I had the double-breasted pocket. Normally I only have one pocket. That one has two. So it's a little bit different. Tons of um, top Ralph Lauren storage, maybe 40 shirts. Get them listed because I think they're going to start moving. People are going to start looking for those used ones instead of paying 50 bucks because 50 bucks for a Polo Ralph Lauren shirt is pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Um, I did find a Patagucci today. Unfortunately, it had a big hole in it. Ouch. I hate when I find a really good brand that has a hole in it. That sucks. I have hundreds of those in my inventory. Are they listed or are they just like chilling? If they're listed, you might want to do a D list and a sell similar and refresh that listing so it ends up at top of search because people are going to start looking for them. Next up, Rain Spooner. I hated paying this price for it. I paid $12.50, but it's a long sleeve Rain Spooner. It's got a really good pattern to it. I really wish they didn't price this up. It hurt my heart to pay that much, but I think I should be able to get at least 35 for this shirt. So I did decide to bite the bullet and pay up for that one. Is blue and white store named Salvation? No, it's it's red, white, and blue. It's not it's not a Salvation Army store. Um, that live thrift, by the way, if you guys missed the live thrift, it is up on my YouTube. So as soon as I'm done here, that's going to be up on YouTube. If you missed any part of this live, I'm also going to download this live and put this live on YouTube too because I completely forgot. And I might do some editing. I might do some Chris at Peak editing because he's been, uh, I've been watching his stuff and that dude knows how to edit. If you guys are not following Chris over on YouTube, go give Chris at Peak a follow. He does his live thrifts and he edits the whole thing. I'm lazy. I just throw mine up, but he actually goes through, he edits them. They look amazing. So do me a favor, all of you in chat, go follow Chris at Peak if you're not following him already on YouTube. Go give him a subscription. Next up, another Rain Spooner. Paid 15 for this one. Well, this one has a little bit of a better pattern. It's a nice floral print going all through. Um, I'm thinking I'll be able to get a little bit more for this one. Probably about 40 bucks for this. Inflation is the best form of flattery. Inflation is the best form of flattery. <laughs> what? Oh, man. Next up. Uh, I found this shirt right away when I went to the uh, men's uh, long sleeve section. This is a Lacoste. It's a really good Lacoste label. Um, four bucks. Just a nice long sleeve plaid Lacoste. Lacoste. Did I not read that right? I was wondering. Imitation is the best form of flattery. Yes. I thought you said inflation. I'm telling you guys, I'm tired. I am going to sleep right after this. K-Way is tired. I slept like five hours last night. If you know, you know, you know why, uh, we explained that in Kayla's live. Um, and I need to get some sleep today. Uh, just curious, um, if my husband and I go thrifting vacation, what state is the best thrift stores? I don't know if there's a specific state that is the best. Um, I live in the Tampa Bay area and I love where I live. There's lots of good thrift stores, lots of great prices. So I don't know if there's a specific state that's known to be the best. I think, I think, uh, Florida has really good thrift stores and people know about this area. I think California does have some great thrift store areas, but a lot of them are high priced. I saw that today in somebody's live. The prices there are insane. Like like regular Nike pullovers were 15 bucks. 
I'm like, how do you guys make money out there? $15 regular Nike pullovers? There's no way I can make money. But um, people are paying it, so I don't know. I don't know. But here in Florida, we got really good prices where I'm at. Tennessee is really good. I, I say yes, Tennessee is really good. I've been to your bins and I've also been to your Goodwills and I only went to Goodwills out there when I went there and the prices were really good. I think most of the areas out there have a set price. So even if you walk in and like you find this Robert Graham shirt, this would be on a regular rack and they have like a set price, like six bucks for every shirt. So if you find something like this sitting on the rack, you're going to pay six bucks no matter what it is. Um, this Robert Graham shirt, unfortunately, I didn't pay six bucks. I paid uh, 25 bucks for this one, but it's a nice floral pattern. Um, I think in used condition, I should be able to get at least 50 bucks for this, maybe a little bit more. So these sell pretty well for me. I thought it was silk at first because it's got a nice feel to it, but it is a cotton one. So Wisconsin is good. I'll have to go test that out. Wisconsin, I think, would probably have like tons of really good jackets. Robert Graham here is 55. Ouch. 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 Here's the receipt. I found the receipt, everybody. It was in the last bag. We are on our last bag. All right, so here's the receipt. That's how long the receipt we have. Um, if you guys missed it, Kayla did her live earlier. She went over most of the women's items, so we did have a lot more than I showed today. Um, but Kayla's doing those on her live. So if you're not following Kay the Book Nerd, that's my wife's channel. She's going to be showing the women's stuff before I go live and show the men. So make sure you're following Kay the Book Nerd. That way you see everything that we pick up. Uh, we paid $844.64 for everything that you've seen today. But we found some really good stuff, so that's okay. Um, there's one item in here. If you've seen my video that I put out today, you already know what that item is. I'll show it in this next bag. But that one item should probably sell for around 200 bucks. So we make you know, a fourth of our, our uh, buy cost back off one item, which is really good. I wish we could find one item to pay for everything. That would be nice. I've seen Rally Roots in Gulfport. Uh, when I was thrifting, yeah, I think they're visiting like over there, right? Coco Beach. I've heard Coco Beach is good. My sister has actually thrifted out there and she found some really, really good stuff. Um, pretty soon we're going to start traveling more. And when we start traveling more, uh, you guys are going to be on the road with us. We might be like in a hotel room doing this kind of stuff. Um, and it should be a lot of fun. Uh, I really want to travel and thrift. I think that's like the, the thing that everybody likes to do. All right. So this is a wind wall. Kayla says she thought she saw Gore-Tex on this, but I don't think this is a Gore-Tex. Although it feels kind of like Gore-Tex. I don't think it is. If it is, I'll find out later. Um, it does have some gunk on it, so we're going to have to wash it. This is a men's 2XL. Really good size. North Face. We paid 15 bucks for it. But it's a wind wall jacket. Really, really nice wind wall. Super nice. This is the, the kind of jackets you're on the lookout for when it comes to uh, North Face. So minimum, I think this is a $60 jacket. I'll probably even list it a little bit higher than that. So... Follow Sunrise Listings. That's my sister's account, not my not my wife's. Do not follow Sunrise Listings. Do not give her a follow. No, give her a follow. She's doing her whatnot, I believe, Friday night? Friday night. And yeah, if you're not following me on whatnot, I have a link in my bio. If you use that link, you get $15 to spend for free on whatnot. I think I'm the only TikTok reseller that has that $15 code uh, currently. So if you want an extra $5, click my code. Next up, we have an, uh, uh, what is this? Calvin Klein. What did we pay for this? Oh, there it is. We paid six fifty. It's a Calvin Klein. I know people are like, Calvin Klein, does Calvin Klein sell? So if you caught one of my videos from like a month ago, I sold a Calvin Klein jacket in like a day or two. It was a black leather one, but this is also a leather Calvin Klein and it's a perforated like suede jacket. I think I can probably get 50 bucks for this super fast. I'm gonna list it low and try to move it pretty quick. But it's just a nice Calvin Klein leather jacket. Um, good name, good name. Not the best resale uh, brand, but I still think I can move it pretty quick. Whatnot is addicting, yes. As soon as you sign up, you're gonna be on like, as soon as I get off these lives, I go like, I'm, I'm using Whatnot for different purposes when I go there. I'm like reviewing what people do and trying to learn their tactics and stuff. But I'll sit on Whatnot auctions for like an hour and just scroll and see what people are selling. It's, it's kind of fun to watch. You're gonna get $200 when I get approved for selling in the process, awesome, let's go. That's awesome. Yeah, if you sign up through my uh, link, you can also sign up to uh, to sell on whatnot too. So if you're interested in what I'm doing and you wanna start selling, you can use my link as well. Obviously there's a kickback for that too. I get a kickback for, uh, for a sign up for uh, selling too. Next up, Vineyard Vines. It's a men's size medium. And this one has an American flag print going all the way. Is that American flag or is that Puerto Rican flag? What is this? Somebody tell me this. I don't want to sound stupid here on live because I, I always do. 
what the heck is this? Puerto Rican flag, right? Right? Texas is a Texas flag. Okay, either way, it's a flag. Got it, Texas flag, got you. So Texas flag, uh, we paid $10 for this, really good one. Um, I think I can at least get 35 for this and I think it'll sell pretty quick. So yeah, Texas, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I was horrible at geography and all those classes. So I don't even know what I'm talking about. I sound really stupid there. That's normal K-Way Live there for you. Next up, we got Mountain Hardware. This is a men's size medium. I actually forgot I picked this up. This must I must have picked this up right in the beginning. Paid five bucks for this. Really good size. Chris, I'm telling you, we Mountain Brands. Crazy that these are sitting in a Florida thrift store. Um, this is in like pristine condition too. Super nice, soft shell, Mountain Hardware with a zip pocket on the front. Like crazy. Crazy that this is sitting in a, in a Florida thrift store. And everybody passes on them. Your Florida is showing? I know. Florida man. Florida man says Texas flag looks like Puerto Rican flag. All right, next up, we got a Summit Series. Is this the Gore-Tex one? Oh. Oh, yes. 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 12.50. She was right. We did find a Gore-Tex. Wow. I didn't even know this was Gore-Tex, but now we do. Uh, this is a men's large Gore-Tex. Uh, jacket, nice North Face Gore-Tex for, for $12.50. That is insane. That is insane. Really good condition. Even like the, even this part, normally you'll see some like pilling and tearing and stuff. Really good condition. So, uh, Gore-Tex, I didn't even know this was Gore-Tex until just now. Uh, I don't know what this goes for, but I'm pretty sure this is like 70 plus, maybe even a hundred. Um, really, really good. Wow. That makes me really happy. So between that and the item that I'm going to show here in a minute, that will make up, if that sells for a hundred and that one sells for 200, that's basically half, almost half the haul paid off with those two items. So that's pretty, that's pretty crazy. I didn't even know that was Gore-Tex. That's pretty insane. Next up, uh, men's North Face. Again, we paid 15 bucks for it, but it's a nice Denali jacket, uh, green and gray. I wish the colors were a little bit different. They kind of clash a little bit but another nice North Face. So what size is the mountain jacket? The mountain hardware jacket is a size. Mount hardware is a size medium, men's size medium, men's medium. Bro said, wow, that's a Gore-Tex um, XCR, which is a three layer older model, but high end. Yeah. I don't know what it's worth. You can tell me, Chris, I don't, I don't find North Face too often, but obviously today we found a ton of North Face. So yeah, if you guys are interested in anything you see, hit me up on Instagram. We can, uh, we can work out a great deal. Here's another brand I don't normally pick up. Um, this is a men's size large REI pair of pants, and I did pay up for them too. I paid eight bucks, but there's a reason I did because they're uh, convertible. So they have a good style going for them. I, I looked up comps. People sell these anywhere between 20 to 40 bucks. I'm going to list these on the high end, see how well they sell. Besides the Denali green one, the Denali green one is a men's, a men's size medium as well. Men's size medium. 30 long too. Yeah. A little bit of a rare size. Um, I think with them being convertible pants, which people kind of look for, obviously with the temperatures coming up, it's going to be cold in the morning and then hot in the afternoon. So people like the convertible pants so they can just zip them off and then they can keep doing what they're doing. So, um, it's not area. Those are, um, R E I R E I is like a, uh, is a, a store. I believe I don't, we don't have many around here. I think we have one. It's like a, um, a hiking store. They sell brands like Patagonia, North face and stuff. And then they'll also have their own, um, brand called REI that they sell. I think we have one in Orlando and that's it in this area. Uh, Depop will be great for REI. Yeah. I've heard that cause sand threads always says he sells REI stuff there like all the time. So, um, Depop, I might actually do that. So Gore-Tex has a few different Align products. SCR is a nicer stuff, older model. People know it. There you go. Cool. Outdoor store. Yeah. All right. So this is the find of the day. Um, when I saw this, I didn't know what I had until I was reviewing the items in the cart at the end. If you guys don't know what we do is we buy the, well, we don't buy the items. We pick up all the items. Then we go in a like corner of the store. Normally, like today, we went in the book area where there's not a lot of people, or we go by the bathrooms where there's not a lot of people, and we review everything that's in our cart. 
and we'll price it out because it's a, a cash only store. So we got to calculate how much we have. So we know we have enough cash when we go to the front. Um, and then we also look for stains. We look for items with bad smells, stuff like that, that we'll pass on. Um, when I saw this jacket, I was like, wait, this is probably worth a little bit more than I thought it was worth. So we paid 25 bucks. This is a Patagonia. This is actually the first item I found as soon as I walked in the store. So they must have just put it out. It's a women's size medium, but it has this logo on the front. It says National Ski Patrol. Um, so right there, I was like, wait, this is a little bit different of a Patagucci, right? Um, and also I, I felt it and I was like, wait, is this, is this goose down? And I was like, let me check. And then I flipped the, uh, flipped the enter. If you guys watch the video I just put out today, you'll see, I zoomed in on this. This is also a, um, 85% goose down filled jacket. I looked up this national ski patrol. There is one that sold in new condition. That is not goose down for 220. There's one listed for 175. That is also not goose down. So I didn't explain this in the video and I'm explaining it right now. I'm thinking I'm going to sell this. I'm going to list it for over 200 since it is pretty rare. Um, it does have a little bit of staining at the bottom, but I think I can get that out. But either way, it's a pretty rare jacket. Um, I think I'm going to list it for over 200. Under uh, over 200. We have an REI in Midtown Tampa. Oh, we do have one in Tampa. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But yeah, pretty cool find. Really good condition, except for that small little mark at the bottom. I'm going to try my best to get that out. Even if it has that small mark, I think with the rarity of this jacket, it'll still sell for good money. So uh, pretty cool find right there. Um, Patagonia. I don't normally find these kind of puffer jackets um, at this store, at least. There's a guy. I don't want to say his name because I don't want to I don't want to have a bunch of people flood him because I don't want to let you guys know who it is because he's he camps out the store the whole day. And if uh, you guys know, Jen and Sonia know, there's a guy, his name is Adam. He goes to the Tampa store and he camps there all day. And he found today Arcteryx jacket. He found Patagonia pieces. Just last week, he found like four Patagonia pieces, but he's there all day. So the chances of me finding it in that store is pretty small, but that's okay because he doesn't go to this store and I'm able to find pieces like this. But that other store, crazy prices. Like, yeah, Jen says she doesn't know Adam. She knows Adam. Um, I'm not Jen, Sonia said it, um, crazy prices. Like he's finding Patagonia. Like that would be $5 at the other store. It's insane. It's insane. What material tag can I see? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, do, 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 Are you really going to be able to see this on camera, Chris? I spray stains with emergency stain rescue soap. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Take a picture, snap it, Chris, do what you got to do. I can send you a picture on can text you a picture chris if you really want it and i also zoomed in on it on my on my video today a really really nice jacket so pretty pumped about that i'm actually really pumped about the gore-tex jacket now i didn't know one of those were gore-tex the the mountain heart or not the mountain hardware but the north face jacket so yeah pretty cool pretty cool oh, i know who you're talking about yeah he's he's there all day but he he deserves it because he stays there all day long he stays there from opening till I think like three or four in the afternoon and he just waits for those new racks to come out. So can you zoom in on your sunburn? Yeah. You want to zoom in on the sunburn? Here we go. Right here. Zoomed in, zoom right in right here. That's Florida sunburn. Everybody that's living up North right now and has, uh, has no sun. I feel bad for you. Cause we were outside the other day. We were, we were getting burnt. Nice piece. The patch is going to inflate the price, but got to wait for the right buyer. Exactly. That's a piece that I'm not expecting to sell super fast. And Chris gets that hundred percent. You have to wait for that specific buyer that wants that specific item. So I only paid 25 bucks for this. If I have to sit on this for a year to get somebody to pay 250 for it, I will sit on it for a year, wait for somebody to pay 250 for it. Um, have you seen golden goose shoes? Yeah. But the only thing with golden goose shoes, you've got to make sure they're authentic. Cause there's a lot of fakes out there on the market. Red, white, and blue. I was at today, had two people camping out. Yes. There are people that wait there in my, in the store that I go to, the guys that are camping out are just going for the vintage t-shirts. My eyes are so freaking dry right now. Um, the uh, water store is too cramped for my taste. Yeah, the, the aisles there are super cramped. I agree. They're like really cramped. Appreciate all the follows coming in too. If you're not following, hit that follow button. Every week on Wednesday morning, we do a live thrift. You guys go along with me, pick up all the stuff. You guys get to see how I pick it up. If you missed that, it's up on my YouTube channel. So you can feel free to go watch it right now. And then at night, we go over everything that we picked up. And this live will be up on my YouTube. Normally, I'm doing both at once, but I completely forgot to start up my YouTube live. So this live will be up on YouTube. You can rewatch it at any time as well. That'll be tomorrow uh, morning. I'll put it up after I do my uh, morning shipping. 
Appreciate the uh, follow, Miss Fitness. I mean, you could sell um, that for 60 next week, but for 180, you sit exactly. Yes, I am. I'm sitting on, on 180 for that. Miss, what was it? It's a. Uh, it's a. If you saw see my video, I put out the video today about this jacket. So go check out the video. If you guys could go show the video some love after I finish this live, give it some likes, comments, all that good stuff. Tell I saw that on live. That was pretty crazy. But it's a Patagonia jacket. It's a Patagonia but it has this logo right here on the front. Um, it says uh, National Ski Patrol, it's flipped, I flipped it back. But National Ski Patrol um, logo on the front of this women's Patagucci Goose Down jacket. Really good one, really, really good one. Good night, happy hunting, appreciate you. I'm gonna hang out for like two more minutes and I am going to bed. I'm staying out of Tampa for a while now, yes. Yeah, it's hard to thrift there because he finds all the good stuff. But he doesn't go through the women's section, Sonia. So I think you can still find really good stuff in the women's. Peace out, Trisha. What size is it? It is a size medium. It's a women's size medium. Unfortunately, this one I cannot give great deals on because I know how rare it is. Um, women's size medium. If you really wanted this like tonight, I could do 175 on it. But I think I could get over 200 for it. So that's about the best deal I could do. All right, everybody else is heading off. I'm going to go ahead off too. I am pretty wiped. Again, if you missed this live, it'll be up on YouTube. If you missed the live thrift, that is already up on YouTube. Go watch it. Go go leave it, leave it a like. Go subscribe if you haven't already. If you're not following me on Whatnot too, Whatnot link in my bio, sign up, $15 for free. And I'll be live tomorrow morning shipping out some orders. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Peace.